Okay, Stephen A. Smith, he was on uh, Sherry Shepard the other day. Sherry Shepard asked him about Rihanna at the Super Bowl. You know, everybody's real excited that Rihanna, she's about to perform at this year's Super Bowl. And he gets up on Sherry Shepard's show on national TV and starts talking about how Rihanna's great, Rihanna's this, Rihanna's that, but she's no Beyonce. I think we got a clip. Yeah, we always got a clip. I right. do know is who's gonna be in the Super Bowl. I right. got, I know this. Rihanna. Really? Rihanna. Right. Rihanna is going to be. I'm very excited. Are you excited for this halftime show? I don't want to say I'm not excited. She's fantastic. That's, yes. not where I'm, that's not where I'm going with this. Okay, where you going? Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, she's a lot of things. She's spectacular, actually. Yes. And congratulations on new mamahood. Yes. There's butt. one thing she's not. Uh-huh. She ain't Beyonce. I know she's not Beyonce, but you know, wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. Hold on. Steven. The only reason I brought up, the only reason, the only reason I brought up Beyonce. Yes. Is because Beyonce recently performed at the Super Bowl. Yes, she did. And and with with and without Bruno Mars and Coldplay. Okay, so Beyonce performed, but she's had her time. I'm saying now there's Rihanna. Rihanna's coming back. And Daryl just said, I saw the interview. He voiced his opinion. Also, he achieved his goal. And that was so the entire country is talking about him. And that's what I feel too, because it was really no need to even say something like that. You know, these questions were already pre-screened. Like he already knew the questions that Sherry was gonna ask him. This was all a part of the plan just to get more followers, just to trend, just so people will talk about him, but really at what cost? Because you're tearing down a black woman. It was just really no need to even throw that kind of energy out there. Just say, yo, I'm excited about Rihanna's performance. She's a black woman. I'm going to support her. I'm rooting for her. Rihanna and Beyonce are two totally different people. They're two different artists. They're two I like Rihanna better anyway, but that's that's just me. See, see now here we go. <laughs> now that now that's another thing, too. But but I just feel like, you know, come on, Steve. Like, Steven didn't even have to say that. Like, come on, man. Yeah. I mean, but that's what he does. Like, he's a shock jock. He's a black Howard Stern. Um, and he has a show uh, that, that, that he's paid to give wild opinions or whatever. Um, but he right. um, said that he might be right. You know what I'm saying? Like, Beyonce is this upper echelon, that sort of thing or whatever. But my thing is, like, black people, like, why can't we coexist? Why does being who you are take away from someone else? Or why does not being someone else take away from, like, like it shouldn't. Like, we should all just, like, it's not a pie. It just frustrates the hell out of me what we do to ourselves to tear ourselves down before anybody else has to do it with it. Because, like, that's just unnecessary. But, and he knows it's unnecessary because later he had to apologize for it. My first take, and I saw some headline that's circulating all over the place about my quote that, Rihanna and Beyonce. See, you know, I'm going to own it. I know what y'all trying to do, but I'm going to own it because I get paid to speak for a living, so I need to be more careful. I want Rihanna to know you're a superstar. You're sensational. You're spectacular. You're no joke. And you are a worthy person to be doing the Super Bowl halftime show. Clearly what happened was people started to drag him and people, they were saying- The okay, Rihanna so Navy, right. The, the Navy started dragging him and they were like, yo, we get ready to cancel him. We're gonna cancel him. And so that's what he had to do. He had to do an apology because again, remember, he knew the question that was gonna be asked. So he already knew what he was gonna say anyway. And like Daryl pointed out, he's selling a book. He's trying to trend. He knew what he was doing, but then that shit backfires. It comes at a cost. When you drag somebody like that, just expect like it's not gonna always go the way that you think it's gonna go. People do that all the time. They try to put each other down just for likes and follows. Yep, so he came quick with the apology, which is always what they do. So like my thing is like, why did you say it in the first place? Is it sincere or is it damage control? Because it's damage control. That's like, all. Like, like, what's the point? Like, 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 we're in the we're in the era of double down. Like, if like if you said it, you said it. Like, stand stand ten toes down. Like people say, you know what I'm saying? Like, like if that's what you gonna do, do that or whatever. If yeah. you get paid, like, do that. When he's talking a lot of times, like he makes a lot of good points, but he also says a lot of stupid stuff. That's why, like, he's not one of the people that that I kind of consistently follow or anything like that. Because, like, he's just talking to be talking. 
Comments are coming in too. Uh, let's see. Uh, it said it would have been bad if uh, Riri ain't Taylor Swift. That's a slap. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it oh, would have right. been bad if he said Riri ain't Taylor Swift. Yeah, that, right. yeah. Gowns, nice gowns. <laughs> no, lovely gowns. <laughs> we want to hear your thoughts. Check in with us, Everybody Bad Live Podcast.